Hello everyone, Lila's Gigi here, and today I'm going to bring you the Miria bracelet by Heirlooms. Um, I took a look and I could not find it posted here, so it might be in the his uh, ancient uh, dot spams account. I think that's what it's called. Um, but I wanted to show you the beautiful bracelets he has here. So hop on over to his IG account, like his photos, and give him a follow for me. Beautiful, beautiful pictures there. Okay. So, um, oh, give me just one moment, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. I realized that I had not finished sorting my bands. So these are the two colors I'm going to use. I think um, Heirlooms used uh, three or four possibly colors in the, um, in the flippogram. <coughs> Excuse me. But I want to try something a little bit different. I'm only going to use two. So standard setup three pin bar design okay um, I'm going to drop a border band and then just do the straight border to the left and then up and then up whoops get that out of there <laughs> trying to keep my bands as straight as I can and then up and you're gonna need to push your bands down okay now um, if you're using one color for your border, then that's fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the other color for my border. Just going to try something a little bit different this time. Okay, so straight up. And I'm only going to take this uh, one and a half looms up because I'm making it for my granddaughter. And she, her wrist is much smaller than mine. So go ahead and finish your border and then I will meet you back here when I'm finished with mine. Okay, so I am back <clears throat> and I'm going to finish off the end of this border by bringing one band this way and one band this way, okay? So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to lay single chains up the center. Super simple and me trying to do something a little bit different, I'm going to lay the two colors, every other one. Okay, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, but I will certainly keep my fingers crossed. So, single band, right here, single band. Sing oh. oh, look, it broke. You know, this is the third one of these I've had break. Um, not, not good. All right, so, anyway. And this is from the, these colors are from the Galaxy pack, by the way. So single band, and then, oh, I hate when they're crooked, and then one more. So go ahead and lay your single bands all the way up to the end of the loom, and I will be back with you when I finish mine. I am back, and the last thing I did was I laid these single bands right up the center here, okay? And this is what your loom should look like. Nothing but single bands straight up right now. All right, so this is where I'm going to do something a little different again. I laid the, I guess, the lavender or the purpley color up that side and the teal or blue color up that side. And I am going to, let's see, I'm going to put this color on this side. So just something different. So first pin bar, first pin, diagonal up to the right, and then diagonal up to the left from that center pin. And make sure I push these down, but maybe not far enough. Okay. Then I'm going to go to the other side, and I'm going to use the alternate color here. So you don't have to. You can do your colors any way you want, but this is what I'm choosing to do. Okay. So all my blues will be on this side and my purples will be over here. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. We're going to, um, so I'm to make sure I've got this right. So it's kind of like a zigzag, I guess. So anyway, or it ends up being a diamond or, you know, <laughs> I don't even know. It just depends on how you look at it, I suppose. Okay. So. Let's take it like, so it'll be like X's. Okay, so this is one half of the X. I'm gonna end up changing my color, and this is the other half of the X. Okay, 
So do those all the way up. I guess you could call them long X's all the way up to the end of your loom and I will be back with you. Okay, I am back and the last thing I did was I laid these diagonals right here and then I laid these, uh, I call them diagonals, but you know what I mean, these two right here, okay? So this is what your loom should look like. I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to add a cap band to this right here, okay? And I probably will do a triple if I can get my fat fingers in there. One, two, and three. All right. So the first thing we're going to do, and the looping actually is pretty easy, is we're going to go in and take the top band, which is the one that goes up the center, and we're going to loop it back to itself. Okay. Go in, grab the one that goes to the left, or whatever one is on top for you, depending upon if you followed along with me or not loop it back and then take the last one and loop it back to itself. Okay? Now, this one, this part is actually seems a little tricky but it's actually pretty easy. Everything's going to go out from the center right now. I'm going to grab this top band and we're going to loop it to the one above, out to the left. Okay? Right here. So it goes from here to here. I'm going to take the next one and instead of going back to itself, it's going to go to the one above. So I'm going to reach in, grab that band, and I want to straighten it out a little bit. They might be a little difficult, they're dual la layers, so, well, I don't think that helped, did it? And loop it up. Okay. Go back to the center, grab this band, and loop it instead of back to itself. Back to the center, grab the next top band, and instead of looping it here, you're going to loop it up and to the right. Okay. Once you've finished that, you'll go in to the same pin, bring that single chain straight up. Okay. I'm going to repeat that process. One, two, third pin up, middle pin bar. Grab your top band, which should be this diagonal right here. And, I'm going, and we're going to loop it right here. Okay. Going to go in, grab that next top band. Well, if I can get it. And we're, instead of looping it here, we're going to just loop it right up here. Back into that center pin. Grab this band. Loop it diagonally to the right. Go back in. Grab that next band. And instead of looping it to itself, you're going to loop it up. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you're going to go in here, grab that single chain that goes up, and loop it right there. I'll do this with you one more time. I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, all right. So one, two, three, four up. You're going to go in, grab the short diagonal right here. And let's see, make sure you go through everything. And you're going to loop it right here. You go in, grab the next one in line, and you're going to loop it up to here. Go in here, grab the short diagonal, loop it out into the right diagonally, grab the next band that's on top, and loop it up to there, and then go in, grab your single chain, and loop it straight up. Okay, go ahead and finish that all the way up. Rewind and pause me if you have to and I will be right back when I finish mine. Okay, so I am back and I'm going to do the very last part of this with you. I'm going to reach in, grab the diagonal that goes down, I'm going to loop it up like we did before. Whoop, and get it on there. And then we're going to grab the next one and we're going to loop it straight up. Okay? This short diagonal here, I'm going to grab it, loop it up diagonally to the right, Grab the next one, loop it straight up, and then go in and grab your single band and loop it straight up. Okay? So this is what your loom should look like. All right. Now we're going to do the border, and the border is a little different. Okay? Before we loop this up, what we're going to do is reach in here, and the bottom 
band, which should be the other side of this one. I'm going to take it and loop it up and over, just like that. Then we're going to reach in and grab the border band and loop it up. Okay. Before we do this again, we're going to reach in, grab the bottom of this border band, and loop it up and over. And then go in, grab the next border band, loop it up. Before taking the next one up, you're going to reach in, grab the bottom of that band that you just put up, and loop it over. Okay? And do that on the other side with you. Now, mine, mind you, mine are a different color because I had blue on this side for the border and um, the purpley pinkish color on this side for the border. Take that before you loop this. Before you loop this up, you're going to grab the bottom one here. Whoops! And loop it up and over. Go in, grab that border band, bring it straight up. I did not push my bands down. Shame on me. And you're going to go in, I'll turn this sideways a little bit, grab this band right here, which is the bottom part of that band you just looped up, and loop it up and over. Okay? Go in through all those pins, grab the border band, bring it straight up, go underneath, grab the bottom part of that border band you just looped up, and bring it up and over. Do this one more time. Go in, grab your border band, bring it straight up, reach to the outside, grab the bottom of that same band, and loop it up and over. Okay? So finish that all the way up to the end of your loom, and I will be, um, well, you know what? Um, just finish it up, and then I'm going to go ahead and take mine off up to a point at the top and show you how to close it. All right? That saves me a, a step of coming back on. Okay, so finish that up and I will be right back with you. Okay, so I am back and one thing I wanted to remind you to do that I think I failed to tell you was that these single chains that go up here, you'll need to pull those over also. I pulled mine here and here and then when I pulled these single chains up, I also pulled the bottom of those single chains like we did down below. Okay, so I'm almost finished pulling this off of here. To here and here. And then before I get to the very end of this, I'm going to pull these off. Um, you know, this is only a um, three-pin design, and I still do not um, pull everything off. I, I've seen people rip their bracelets off, and <coughs> excuse me, and I cringe every time. It just makes me go, ah, don't do that. You know, you're stretching your bands, and I just don't think that's a good idea. Um, but that's just me. So what we're going to do is I had that closure band on there. If you did not have a closure, if you did not lay the closure band, that's fine. Just put your band on um, your hook all the way through all of everything on your um, <coughs> excuse me on your peg, and then grab the closure band and bring it up. Make sure you have everything secure on there, and then you can use a C clip bobby pin, safety pin, whatever you have handy. I happen to use my um, plastic safety pins because I love them. Uh, just making sure that it's secure on there and we'll finish taking this off. Okay, Let me go down here and finish this part. This, I'm very happy with this. My granddaughter is going to love it. It's turned out super, super cute. Or I think it did anyway. Hopefully you will think the same thing. Look at this. Isn't that cute? With the different colors on both sides. Um, you know, I suppose you could have done uh, the same colors, but I, I just, I don't know, I just thought it was cute with the different um, colors and the different colors at the center. Now I have a few bands just straightened. I have straightened the ones that are on the bottom already, and I just pull them and twist them, and you know, you can pull the bracelet. A um, little less than an inch wide, I would say. And this, of course, is not going to fit me. Um, and I only went one and a half. So if you go a full loom length, it would probably, well, it doesn't even, it fits from end to end right here. Okay. But again, I only made it, I made it small because it's for my granddaughter. All right. So 
This is the Miria bracelet, um, excuse me, by um, Air Heirlooms, air.looms, H-E-I-R dot L-O-O-M-S. He's on Instagram. Hop on over there and like his photos and give him a follow. And you can find me on Instagram also under Lila's Gigi. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, please um, subscribe to my channel for future tutorials. Like I've said before, I have many, many tutorials to do. Some hook only and some loom. So thank you very much for watching. And um, I'll see you again soon.